Hey guys, Spark Captain Dark here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Let's Play Far Cry 2. As you can see, I'm here with this dude from the last episode. Um, there's something different about this uh, episode is that um, I recorded the video as usual, and then after I was done recording, I uh, noticed I had n not press record on the audio. I do record audio and video separately just because I can do cleanup on the audio and uh, I completely forgot to even start the audio recording. So there's no voice file. So in fact, this was actually recorded like by the time I upload this, it's going to be six months ago and I'm recording uh, audio for it um, like months later. So this is a post recording. I've never done one of these before, I think. I don't think I have. Well, I, I've done for videos I've uploaded before, like the Pokemon battles. Those were um, pre-recorded and then uploaded with uh, audio commentary. So, but that's not the same, you know. Um, so, basically, I'm driving here to my next mission. Fast forward a little bit. I skip scenes because I don't want you guys to see me basically taking out camps one by one because it's the same shit. I don't know it here yet, but that place there, uh, that's on the map, that's my new, like, uh, base of operations. Sort of like where the church was before. Um, and I'm trying to head now to my next mission, which involves a barge, uh, or a ship. Whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so, um, it was really, this mission, this entire video took me, like, a total of like 55 minutes or 50 minutes something like that so I had to cut down some parts um, I'm thinking maybe I should have cut this down too <laughs> because it's just me driving there and I'm a little bit confused about where to go because it's my first time here so I'm just like where where is this place obviously I have to take the south route there um, but I missed it because I was following the train tracks I think that that was the reasoning um but yeah, uh, this was probably one of the top three most difficult missions. I did have to replay, um, th like, this entire video. The reason why it's so long is because I had to, like, I died, came back to life. I, I skipped most of that during this video because I already went through it and did the editing, and I'm now just recording the uh, audio. So, as you can see here, like, I'm not going to show you guys any of the deaths. I'm just going to cut straight to the, uh, the main... Uh, main chase I died like three or four times here um, three times trying to escape um, the town and then another one time or two afterwards there's like a whole mission just involving the the ship um, so yeah you got to get to the barge and you got to escort the ship make sure it's okay and protect it so um, this one, this, this, um, this part here, that's, it's fine. And no troubles here getting to, um, the barge. I didn't, I don't remember re-recording this part. It's not, yeah, I don't, I don't see any editing, so, um, it's smart that I did save, because if you don't save in this game, it's, uh, you're in for it. <laughs> like, um, I mean, look, I, I will say this, I, I also don't have the best eyesight, so... Or intuition when it comes to like the first person shooters like if I see somebody shooting me it takes me a lot longer than other people to identify where the shots are coming from um, like I don't always see the muzzle flash I don't always see from far away so and here's me getting my uh, my little uh, what are these called it's little boats stuck here on the rocks I, I know the name of these boats I don't know it's not coming to mind right now, but yeah. Um, so here I am. Get to the ship here. I have the brilliant idea to leave uh, this right here. And it's not a good idea. Um, <laughs> not one bit. Um, so I'm thinking... I was thinking that the ship was going to move backwards. Or it was forwards or the other way around. But yeah. It's not the case. Uh, 
Actually, I think I do show some of the deaths here with the ship. Yeah, I, I didn't edit them out because they're pretty quick and I do save. But I did show them because I didn't want to be like, hmm, look at me, Mr. Perfect. Um, I only cut out the the silly parts, which were repetitive and stupid deaths. Um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, this is me trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Uh, yep, go in here. Nope. There you go. Nope. Oh, I'm like, ooh, rocket launcher. Maybe I should get that. Hesitating. Still has it. Oh, there we go. I dropped my good gun for it, but you know what? It's worth it. I have no idea what I was talking about here. Over here, my name is Akin. You must be the guard. Those are a lot of weapons we're delivering to Porto Saleo, thanks to the lieutenant. It's gonna be a dangerous place soon. May I suggest you find Dr. Obu at the clinic once we arrive? Warn him the dead and the wounded are on their way, just as a courtesy. I plan to leave as soon as I'm unloaded, going over to the far side of Lake Segolo. You should too. This isn't our way, you know. We need to get moving. Go out on deck and watch for other boats. Make sure they stay away. Yeah. So that that right there, that's where I saved. I Obviously, I cut it out just to make it quicker. Um, but yeah, I did save right there. I looked at the save box and uh, we're off. Ship is moving now. It's pushing my boat along with it. Um, probably not a good idea to have something that's explosive right at the front. You do have to maintain the, sh uh, the barge to make sure it's it's good to keep going. And uh, I, I find out quickly that uh, um, <laughs> if you're not looking out for enemies, you're going to die. And here I'm just like laying back. I'm just like, hey, this is smooth sailing. Nothing to worry about. And then I hear the music and I'm like, what's going on? Are we being chased? Yeah, like looking in the back, I'm like, what's going on? Nope. Yep, yeah, right there. Not sure why I don't use the ship's uh, mounted guns, but uh, oh, there we go. I also hate how these only turn <laughs> within the degree that they're aligned to. Like they don't turn all the way. They're not 360 guns. I don't know why. Doesn't that defeat the purpose of a of a pivoting like stand? There I died, so there I loaded again to the exact same spot. This time I'm prepared. I even start preemptively shooting at the enemies where I remember them to be. I'm like, yeah, who's prepared now, huh? <laughs> Just laying waste to all of them. Yeah, you know what? Still find the ceiling mechanic gross and unnecessary and way too long. Okay, so finally we're back and I'm just like smooth sailing, right? Wrong. The bar just stopped moving. And so I have to fix it. But I'm also being bombarded from every which direction. I haven't figured out that I need to fix the ship because I'm panicking. I'm like, maybe I should just take care of the enemies first. Otherwise, what's the point of fixing it? But, contrary to what you might believe, it's actually good to fix it because you keep moving. You're not a, you know, a target that's just standing there like a sitting duck. So, yeah, at this point I haven't figured it out yet. So I'm just shooting everybody that gets close. Gonna, it's gonna catch up to me. Because the enemies don't stop coming. Just like Smash Mouth said. It's uh. It was me, I fixed it. Now we're moving again. But we're still being bombarded and I'm dying. I don't know why I'm not healing. Oh, I'm out of heals. And my gun got jammed. That's good timing there. Oh. I was too low on health, and if you stay too low on health, this is what happens. Back to it. I told you, I died so many times with this. Like when I was done, I was like, "Finally, I'm done. Um, I'm done with the uh, the episode." And then I woke up. I haven't even recorded my voice, and I was just like, "I'm done for today. I'm done." And of course, I forgot about it. So then, when I was like uh, looking for the audio file, I'm like, "Oh wait, this is the one where I got." <laughs> I didn't even record it. This is a good play on my part. I took out the guy shooting the, uh, the rockets at me. 
but not the uh, mortar guy. That guy is still uh, hitting me with mortars. That's what that yellow cloud is. It's like a mark. And you can hear like the smoke uh, can ricocheting off. I'm reloading here. Good shot there. Up. Oh. Another good shot. Really good shots here. Doing some work, but still haven't figured out where the mortar guy is. So I'm just like here, I'm like searching. I'm like, where are you? Are you there? I'm surprised I haven't oh there I start taking random shots here now. I'm just like <laughs> When I don't know where the enemy is, I s just start shooting randomly. Like, you're not gonna show yourself that I'm just gonna start bombarding everything. He's definitely far away, um, because I can't see him. I realized that I gotta keep moving, so I fix the barge. And then I go after that ship, a little boat thing. How are they called? No, I was gonna say a word, but I'm not sure. It's a dingery, dingery boat. Ding, dingery, dingery do boat. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they're called. I noticed the the little foam there of water. I'm like, aha! I see where you are. I don't think that hit. And also this. Gotta fix it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. guys are so good um i thought i was being sniped here so i i got a little bit paranoid like well great now we got it we're dealing with the sniper too here i realized i was out of rockets so i couldn't shoot them so i'm just like waiting for them to get in the line again and fire yeah, you can only evade me for so long And that was where the mortar guy was located, that whole time. And uh, yeah, that was that's pretty much the end of our troubles now. I gotta make it to the shoreline, and there's gonna be a bunch of little small bo smaller boats just tracking me and trying to get, get me to stop. Like these guys, I realize I'm on a rocket, so I'm just gonna start taking shots at them. Because they're not gonna go into the way of my, uh, my guns, so I may as well. Yeah, they're just not gonna let you. They're just not, not gonna give you a moment of rest. I thought there was enemies on shore as well, so I started taking shots there. There wasn't, but uh, it's always fun to shoot these guns regardless. And of course, I'm being shot at from the back, so I can't really aim with them because these things don't turn 360. Possibly because they don't want you shooting your own uh, ship. But still. If you're that dumb that you're gonna shoot your own barge, I mean, you kind of deserve it. <laughs> Let's be real here. Uh, I think there's just this boat left. Yep. And they're done. This is me just scavenging. I don't know why I just didn't cut this part out. This is me trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. This is me expecting him to give me a pat on the back. I'd just be like, whoa, where you to go? I'm like, alright, cool, I guess I'll... No thanks necessary, huh? Alright. 
still being shot at, which just surprised me. I was like, just let it go. Yeah, they're over there. I take some shots, but I don't know if I keep... If they... Oh, they do, they do. They turn their, their boat this way, and they're like, Oh, you want to mess with us? Yeah. Didn't stand a chance, though. So. Well, now that that's done, uh, I'm gonna go on the shoreline, inspect if there's... Oh, uh, yeah, I realize here I'm like, huh, I don't want to swim, I just want to get on land. I like how there's no uh, stairs here, I have to go all the way around. I can't even just climb it up with my arms. Nah. Scavenging here, I don't know what I expect to find. I don't know if I was looking for anything. Oh yeah, I was paranoid there would be enemies here, I was like, well... Why wouldn't there be? But... As you should know, in Far Cry 2, I should have known this. If there's no music, like battle music playing, there's no enemies usually. Um, yeah, or they haven't noticed you. I come in here, I notice, ooh, diamonds. So take that. I don't think there's a reward for collecting all 221 briefcases. It's so silly. Yeah. And also, I don't know why I'm scavenging at this point. I don't know what I expect to find in Far Cry 2's world. Like, it's pretty empty. It's either water, a uh, med pack, or um, diamonds. It's not much else. Or ammo, but I doubt there's... Yeah, there wasn't any ammo in, these, in this place, so... I go back here. Um, so this is the new, the new place where we're going to be doing most of our missions. So, uh... Get, uh, get acquainted. It's much nicer than the other place, but it also is very chaotic. Like, the people in this uh, location just have no chill at all. At any point, they could just be like... It could be out of the blue. They'd just be like, Hey, you looked at me funny. I'm shooting you. Um, I'm a little bit paranoid because the marker tells me to go into a no ceasefire zone. Like, an area where... You're not supposed to be even trespassing, so I'm just like, maybe if I approach from like... Like I was thinking like, if I just go in the front door, I'm gonna get shot. Like this dude doesn't look like he'll hesitate to shoot me. Um, so I was like, I don't want to die. I haven't really saved. Oh, there's a diamond sound right there. I kind of missed it. That's okay. So I'm just like debating here, like what should I do? I think I make a run for it, for the back. I'm just like, this is my only choice, like this map isn't gonna get any more detailed. May as well just run for it. Yep. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm safe, I did it. Now I just need to find the, the back entrance to this uh, building, and there it is. And then we're good to go. Ooh, psych, uh, Far Cry 2 doesn't have the, those kind of flexibility where they can just let you enter. Ah, front door, buddy. What do you think this is? <laughs> I'm just a little bit... At this point, I can even... I can hear myself. I can remember. I was probably thinking, like, are you serious right now? So here I am. This dude's name is Frank. He'll let us know later on repeat it, uh, repeatedly. I get some health back. And uh, then I save my game, I believe. He doesn't talk. Not, not not yet anyway, so. so looking for other venues here. Save. And then I'm good to go. Sir, do you require medical care? Ah, no man is immune to malaria, no matter where you come from. I'm Obua. I'm the only doctor here. But that's not why you came. I'm sorry. It's just that we see so many foreign mercenaries. God. Even this is why I was too much to ask for. At least you bought that to warn us. Perhaps I judge too hastily. Sir, I would like to help you. You must know that medicine is in short supply, but there are other altruists like yourself. If you return here when it is calm, I will be happy to introduce you. So here I am. Um, there is a way for you to get some steps. Come back later. Here I am. Um, I cut out all my failed attempts to get out. Uh, pro tip, uh, don't... If you're gonna go outside, don't waste time. I saved here again because I don't want to hear the doctor's speech again. Here's Frank telling me his name's Frank again. 
And then here, you got just gotta run for it. Run. Just run. Book it. Even I'm not going fast enough. Go, 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 go. I hesitated here because I thought they would turn around and shoot. No, don't hesitate. Just run. Get in the car and go, 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 go. If you, if you wait around, they will kill you. It's like an endless army of mercenaries. So, that took me a few tries to realize that. Um, because you know how I am. I'm like, oh, I could take him. Nah, no, I couldn't. So here I am. I'm like, hey, where did the barge go, you know? So yeah, while we left to w tell the doctor that there was going to be a lot of uh, casualties, this guy <laughs> was chased away by gunboats. So now I'm just like, alright, I'll come and help you. Now, there was an attempt before this where I actually docked the boat off to the land a little bit closer and then drove around to the location to come from the land. Bad idea, uh, because most of the enemies were on land, so as soon as I showed up, they just targeted me. And there was not a lot of cover because it was like a mountain going down into the valley and they could all see me. Um, you, it's best if you just approach with the boat straight forward. And yeah, that's my pro tip. <laughs> um, don't try. This game is like either do it my way or the highway. Like if you're not going to follow it, prepare to have a rough time. I'm saying that the crossfire. Now I'm dead in the water. Get over here if you can. I need your help. Does that even matter? Like, why was that second phone call programmed in? Like, if I took my time, which I have in, like, for example, the attempt I didn't show here, he's still there. So, <laughs> I hate I hate the fact that this game makes it sound like it's really urgent when it's not. Like, don't try to give me the sense of urgency, because it's not, all right? If it, it'd be cool if it was, like, you have some limited time I know like games like Grand Theft Auto would have done something like that. It's like, well, if you don't make it here in time, I'm gonna be dead. And they put like a timer where it's like, you better get there or this your friend is gonna die. Or they don't put a timer, they just have your friend keep calling you back in, uh, again and again until you uh, he dies. Uh, I almost get, uh, almost, uh, it's stuck here again with my boat. Not bad. Go. These things are not the easiest things to drive around, so... There we go. Or sail around, I suppose. Here I am. Show up, there's a dude here. Just take him out with a pistol. Oh, reload. Shoot some more. There he goes. And I'm like, alright. Let's make some chimichangas, am I right? Oh. This is also a very good strategic position because they can't really aim at you because you're covered by this, uh, the barges, like, uh, stairs. Here you go on this side, though. Shotgun dudes will take uh, multiple shots at you, so be careful. So far, so good. So far, so good. I think at this point I was pretty che cheesed because I was like, how many people have shotguns and like, where are they coming from? <laughs> I'm just like, see what I mean by intuition? Like I was looking straight ahead when they were shooting me from uh, my left. So, you know what I mean? Like. It took me a bit of time to realize that. So I'm just like look, scouting here and see where they are. I 
I think that's everybody. Probably gonna take some shots here. Just to make sure. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure that was it. So I'm now go, gonna go talk to the guy again. Get inside, so you made it after all. If that was a mess. I had soldiers from both factions firing on me. I guess they fell for that stupid false flag operation. I'm going to sink this barge. It's useless to me now. Maybe I can set something else up around here. <laughs> After all that protecting and risking my life, he's going to sink it. Whatever, dude. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the episode. Now I'm going back to the place where uh, uh, I belong. West Virginia, country roads, take me home. Um, no, I'm just like... <laughs> I just wanna, I just wanna save at this point. I, I'm pretty sure if I had my um, original recording for my audio, I was, I would be fed up at this point. I'd be like, I'm done, I'm done. I'm gonna go save. Um, it was not, this is not good. I was not in a good mood by the end of this. I'm still paranoid because I feel like they're gonna start s shit with me because of the whole ceasefire thing. What do you want? I just want to save here, so I, I don't want to, you know, get into a fight with anybody. I just want to save. There we go. So we're nearing the end of the episode. Um, and, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, um, where I did my post, uh, post recording, uh, audio. If you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you, ha if you haven't, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of, uh, Let's Play Far Cry 2. Why am I still exploring? Call it an episode, dude. <laughs> just go save. Me just still looking around. Oh, man. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave it off here. Thanks again for watching. Take care. All the best. See you on the next episode. Later.